I'm scared to do stuff like that in a million dollar race truck. That's something a stunt man can't do. Yeah. And my race truck would go through that at 117, 118 miles an hour. I mean, they got oh, yeah. just completely vaporized. That was when I had a big Jessica Simpson phase going on. <laughs> Welcome to Black Rifle Coffee. I'm Richard Ryan. We got a special episode of React today. I'm joined by BJ Baldwin and Caleb Francis. So BJ, I uh -huh. figured we'll, we'll we'll bring up Smokey and the Bandit. You got the Bandit. Come on back. Were there any like movies or shows or anything like that that really like was a thing for you growing up? You're like, man, I just got to drive. Yeah, this was the one, probably the first one. Well, thank you, son. I appreciate it. You know, all those little bumps, like in, in today's modern cars, that's like a nightmare. What the hell is the world coming to? But everything handled like really poorly and had a lot of wheel travel, a lot of deflection in the tire. I know I'm getting kind of technical, but. No, it's great. It, it would be more so, uh, able to yeah. like accept that. <laughs> If you okay. tried to do that in like today's modern cars, that would be a nightmare. But yeah. the, the older cars can go through rough roads like that pretty quick. Yeah, but Sheriff, he's getting away. Son, he's not going anywhere. The Mulberry Bridge has been dismantled for the past six months. So do you ever just say, screw it, you're gonna like mess with some old vehicle that isn't tuned out for? Uh, no, I, you know. <laughs> That's not good. Just for the given, because I feel like the the resto mod movement in like the last you know decade, everyone's oh. like, and that's worse. Super amped about like redoing Mustangs and these old cars, and then like some people just want to go back factory, and then they yeah. like they go back factory and they get like drum brakes, factory suspension. It's like, Ugh. oh, here we go. Why don't you just drop me off here? I'll catch a cab. Too late now. <laughs> Puts her feet up on the dash. Oh my God. Well, she the... can do that because the airbags won't break her legs yeah. because there's no airbags in that <laughs> particular vehicle Ooh. in 1977. I'm scared to do stuff like that in a million dollar race truck. Yeah. So for them to do that in a car that probably costs $3,300. <laughs> uh, what's, what's, the, what's the big concern? Overshooting, casing, like what? In something that has factory suspension like that, it doesn't matter if you overshoot it or if you come up short, it's gonna hurt really bad. Yeah. If you do it perfectly, it's gonna hurt really bad. We did it! We did it! It really hurts your back. So you have to have a lot of, you know, really prepare the interior of the car as it relates to the seat to absorb that impact. Otherwise, you're gonna be hurt for the rest of your life. What was your progression in that then? Like, as far as the different types of cars? We jumped over that bridge! Did you see what we did? Yes, I did. I would've jumped something else! Well, I started in like a, a VW uh, bug that had like a two chassis, made 86 horsepower, you know, now I race a car that makes 1180 horsepower, a truck that makes you know, yeah. 1100 horsepower, so it's a little bit different. I want to jump a house! I want to jump something! I'll jump me! Oh. Speaking of oh, resto yeah, mods, man. what did you think oh. about the, uh, the Dukes of Hazard? I haven't had this much fun since you and I sneak up to the hayloft in your barn. <laughs> That's my boy Tanner Faust doing all the driving. You didn't know? Tanner is an outstanding driver. It's one thing to, uh, you know, to be really good in racing. Look at the road, Bo. Bo, look at the road. It's a whole nother thing to have four or five quarter million dollar cameras on you mm -hmm. and then have to do something on demand. <laughs> 
when you're not behind the green flag. Like this particular scene, like all the control that goes, goes into sliding that car around. If it was uh, a regular charger from, I think that's a 68 or something, I don't know. I, I forget what year that is, but that would be very difficult things to, to do, yeah. at least the stunt work. That thing has a big motor. I think I'm gonna chumbo. Is that bad? That means vomit. Not the car! It's probably got an LSX with electronic fuel injection sliding up to the car like that. <laughs> That's something a stuntman can't do. Yeah. A stuntman cannot do that. Yeah. Only somebody uh, like Tanner Faust is somebody that has a lot of professional experience in driving and precision driving and vehicle placement. <laughs> is able to film a scene like this without having to go through eight or 10 right. chargers and costing the production, you know, another million dollars. Yeah, yeah, that could get expensive fast. Yeah, yeah, I really liked this movie uh, during that time that it came out because that was when I had a big Jessica Simpson phase going <laughs> on. She was my celebrity crush when this came out. So I was like, this is great. This is the best movie. This particular uh, scene, I'm, I'm thinking they went with wet pavement, like they wet the pavement. Oh, interesting. To get away from the tire smoke. Because th this thing, you know, doing this. You could do it either dry or wet. Wet is a lower rate of speed, so you get better camera angles because you're not like, you know, chasing the car around. Oh, we gotta get us out of here. I can't hear you. Being ridiculous, folks. Life is ridiculous, Katie. In addition to that, you're, you're gonna get better camera angles because it's not gonna make clouds from like horrendous tire smoke, you know, from vaporizing the rear tires in this scene. What's the purpose of this circle? Surprisingly, yeah. it doesn't like yeah, all this all doesn't wet. look like a whole lot of body roll though yeah. either. There's no way that the chassis of that car comes from 1967. That's all modern day coilover sway bars. That thing's tuned to do exactly what Tanner asks it to do. Now that probably sucked. Oh, you're scaring the girls. Now get back on the road, would you? Say sorry for stealing. That was probably an entirely different car that they were just destroyed like, it. We're just yeah. gonna ball right. this thing up over this stuff. Yeah. You know, you see the chats hitting the ground yeah. and making the sparks. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to know how many uh, they destroyed in this. Yeah. There's probably, probably, probably a tally. Yeah. yeah, they probably went through six or seven. Yeah. This is a good scene. I ain't saying I'm sorry. Have you made your peace with God yet, Luke? Because you're about to meet your maker. Like back in the day, they'd have stuntman like jump the car. I'm not gonna apologize for that. <laughs> First off, the car would come to Jeez. a complete stop when it hit that concrete. Wow. This particular jump, there's nobody in the car. They yeah. just shoot the car off of a, a, oh, a ramp. air rocket. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't have to worry about hurting anybody because any stuntman trying to do that is going to be half man, half car for the rest mm -hmm. of their life. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. So you've been in the motorsports for uh, a long time. What's your, I mean, I mean, clearly you have a trophy truck, but like of all the disciplines, like, or types of motorsports, like what do you just get really amped about either driving or watching? Definitely driving and definitely off-road racing, long distance off-road racing. This is different than any other form of motorsport. We have like another dimension, you know, to the aspect of driving because, um, A, we're on, you know, an uncontrolled surface. Like every time another vehicle passes over it, it changes to a certain extent, a little bit. Yeah. And we're constantly uh, navigating through three, four foot bumps at 110, 115 miles an hour. What's funny about my form of racing, like I have a huge motor. It's, it's pretty much the same motor build that everybody in my class has. And it makes 1100 horsepower. You'd think you put that in that car and it would travel through time. <laughs> that might be worth putting my pants on for. What's strange is like, 
every other form of motorsports, their primary goal is making some something that accelerates well, slows down very well, and changes direction very well, like corners very well. My truck doesn't do any of that. No. Oh. None, none of our trucks do any of that, but they don't have to slow down for much, which is what makes them pretty fantastic. What the hell are you doing, Cooter? <laughs> Sorry, officer, I heard a pretty lady needed a tow. Uh, yeah, who cares about anything else? Jessica's in the yeah, passenger right, seat, right? right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cooter! Speaking of old Mustangs. Hey, Billy! You Is that Steve Carell? That's what I thought <laughs> too just then. Well, you're an idiot. I think we can all agree that name calling is beneath you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's going up a flatbed, but that is a tailored and engineered dirt ram. Oh! If that thing hit a flatbed like that, it would explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially that angle, right? Yeah. Yeah, even just then at the angle it was shooting down, that would have hit like straight into the fucking front end. And I think that was like a car gun or sling yeah. thing that shoots the 4,000 pound yeah. car out. There. You don't want to land on the no. pavement like that. Luke, I made it, but I don't know how anybody else will. That's okay, I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you on the other side. Do they jump this in a convertible? Oh, no, they okay. go through the roadblock. I'd like to think that those those horns gave them the added push that they needed to get through. <laughs> I figured we'd uh, give Caleb his his due here. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that, that that Brat was actually a Corvette with a Brat body on it. Is that true? Do you I remember think, that? I, I don't so. know. Yeah. What I do know is Jeeps do not run like that. Yeah. <laughs> they will not do that. Yeah. Hey, who's in the beard? Is that Texas Dave? Yeah. There's a few tire marks there. Did, oh, we, yeah. did we have to do that a few times? Yeah, I'm they, a little disappointed. Oh yeah, they did. You'll never see more than like one or two tire marks yeah. in my videos. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Hank? Where is he going? Here we go, here we go. Here yep. we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caleb, yeah! <laughs> yeah, when we were first trying for that, he was like, just, he said, like, just try to drill me in the face with it. I'll catch it with my mouth. I was like, okay. How many tries did that take you? Two. Yeah. The, fir Two the first time, the first time it landed in the bed, like it went right by, because I was throwing it at him and it went right into the bed. He's like, okay, I saw the aim it. You could see the angle that I threw it at. It looked like it was going to go way in front of it. Yeah. So I threw it at the windshield. Yeah, I threw it at the windshield and it went right into his face. So. Wow. Yeah, that was fun. Was that Hank? That's Hank. Shut the f up, Donut. We lost him. JT's great too, because yeah. he's always so animated. <laughs> How many sets of tires did you guys go through in that? They did a lot on that uh, brand, I know. Nope, doesn't look like we did. I think they did like four sets. Where are you gonna go now, Hank? <laughs> the mean streets of Bernie. Man, that Jeep really moves. Yeah, it does. Really, really well. I, I wonder what's underneath yeah. the hood of that thing. Officer TB, what seems to be the uh, problem well, besides your driving? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little Jason Statham. Okay. Is this transporter? Yeah. Heck okay. yeah. Yeah, this was a really good movie too. I yeah. like this a lot. I wonder if they're gonna show like when he goes up the curbs. See what I mean about the shots? That's not real. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> what shocks me is like, if you're trying to like relate to like 
how this might be. Like, none of those guys are wearing seatbelts. Seatbelts? You can accept a tremendous amount of damage with, if you just have a seatbelt on. You don't mind, I just conditioned the leather back there. And you could just bump into something without a seatbelt and travel the length of a football field out really? the front windshield. The tires are going so fast, they can't shoot them. Yeah, that doesn't help the car oh, what? accelerate yeah. better. He just jumped <laughs> over that entire... It's like a kickflip. Yeah. Yeah, he's just getting them sticky. Yeah, I don't know what's happening <laughs> there. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. Transportation is a precise business. Oh, the first one. Yeah, we're gonna go to the first recoil. So why this series? You know what? Uh, it was inspired by uh, Ken's videos, the Jim Connor videos. <laughs> If you took a race car and were able to like show people what a real race car can can do. Then that would be something very special because it's really hard to see what, you know, these trucks are capable of because whatever footage that you get is from the helicopter. So from an elevated position and filming from like a helicopter, the bumps don't look that big. See, that's something that people can relate to because everybody's <laughs> accidentally bumped like a curb yeah. and ripped the whole corner off the truck. <laughs> so this what, was fun. What are the what are like the the common things that the average person might not realize that those vehicles are capable of? They think like, you know, my buddy has a Ford Raptor and it's probably a little bit faster than that. Like my, my test section, uh, a Ford Raptor, as fast as you can go is about 24 to 26 miles an hour. And my race truck will go through that at 117, 118 miles an hour. The performance is in what they're able to hit at what speed. That's insane. Everybody that was filming this was terrified yeah. of this particular shot, obviously, because if I don't clear her, then, you know, she's probably not going to make it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> six, <laughs> six That's a safe pound, assumption, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. 6,000 pound truck versus, you know, 105 pound girl. So it's like. They had me hit it a bunch of times at really high rate of speed, which I had planned to do anyways, because it's nerve wracking for me to jump over a human being. So I want to make sure I send that thing to the moon. And there's no question that I'm going to clear her and the car. What kind of speed were you at when you hit that? I wasn't going too fast. I think I was going like 62 or 63, but the angle of yeah. the ramp, it's, it was a lot sharper than it looks. Is the reason for that to preload the suspension so you get a little uh, a, a lift out of it? Or like, what's the well, reason for the approach? It, it has to be like long, like the approach has to be long because the truck, the suspension of the truck is gonna eat half of the ramp. Yeah. You know, like this, this little jump right here. That's something that if you hit in like a regular truck because it doesn't have the suspension travel, mm -hmm. it would get like 30 feet off the ground, but it eats half of the ramp. So you gotta make sure everything's settled by the time it's, it's taken off into the air. Got it. This was fun. We had another scene that uh, we were gonna do with her where she just kind of gets dusted out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no, I wanna, I wanna do it like this. But I didn't think she understood the violence that existed behind my truck with the butterflies open. 
I mean, they got oh, yeah. just completely vaporized. That car was like completely destroyed. The front of it was completely destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> so this is with Hoonigan? Yeah, Hoonigan filmed this one. They did a great job. <laughs> of course, Sasquatch takes a dump in my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> go from the desert to terrain like that with a lot of soil and grass like did it behave any differently or yeah it's uh, it gets a little bit better grip you know and in, in terrain that's got a little bit more soil and grass and stuff like that yeah. which is it's nice but you know the thing makes 850 horsepower it'll spin the tires anywhere yeah Most of the time you're fighting for traction. Turn the wheel to the right to get the left side of the truck down. Really? Yeah, it's the same thing like on a like on a bicycle, yeah. if you think if you have the bicycle tire up and it's still spinning, you turn it, it wants to go this way or that way. Yeah. Not many people do that or are aware of that. Okay. We'll cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my neck hurts just seeing that. You don't really feel it. No? No, it's not that bad. Yeah, see, that's something that people can relate to because they know, like, if they try and walk up that, because it's a natural, yeah. like, yeah. structure that that's a lot of effort and they know like if they try to drive their car down it it would be explode yeah. yeah so i was a little concerned here because this has really really good grip as you can see the right. front left tire is picking up it's wanting to roll over so i'm at the lay laying in the throttle to get the tires to really spin really hard So that it doesn't, you know, flip over. It's cool to go 140 on that bridge. <laughs> 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 now this scene where, I, like, I do the jump in the Tacoma Dome. I was terrified. I had 364 feet to accelerate. Not this jump. This jump hurt. I flat landed on the pavement, and I was like, I hope you guys got that because. I am not doing that again. I felt electricity in my oh, fingernails man. and my toe. Like, really? It hit, mm. it hit me like really, really hard. It doesn't look like much, yeah. but it got me. But going to the Tacoma Dome, you know, my son was there and uh, I did four run ups to try and get up to speed. You can't see the entry. Mm. And I was like, that's all I'm doing. You know, I'm, I'm going to the moon this time. Get the drones up, get the cameras rolling, because I am not doing this again. I was more afraid of like chickening out in front of my son than I was going to the hospital, because I, oh, I never wow, got that any. Was perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it ended up being perfect. It didn't even go down to secondaries. You barely felt it land. Yeah. You can see in my face, I'm like terrified right there. <laughs> <laughs> Resting heart rate of like 300 <laughs> miles an hour. That is perfect. I went into the face of the ramp like so hard, so many G-forces. Yeah. I was instantaneously super mad with the stunt coordinators because I thought they got their math wrong. Uh. And then when it went up in the air, it kind of like, it wasn't accelerating anymore. So it slowed down and it greased the landing perfect. Yeah, it was a fun one to make. So have you done run logs with him? Yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing yeah. like, uh, nothing crazy out in the desert, but we did quite a few sections. You might even be able to pull it up. This one? Yeah. like a BJ Saves Christmas kind of video. Wait, so you were Santa in this? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm Santa, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit.
Yeah, th this is where you have some kind of mechanical difficulty. Yeah. Or Not like they ever blow belts. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> this thing is brand new. The new ones are actually pretty good. I got the yeah? uh, Pro R and I haven't blown a belt in it yet. And I've been really hard on it. What's the problem, Santa? Looks like my sleigh is busted. When he stepped on your back here for oh, man. I'll take. There's a or part, uh, yeah, whenever I stepped on his back the first time, it's like just stepping onto like silk and I slipped and fell like right <laughs> on top of him, dude. Yeah, I'm not actually in it for this part. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm in it for the, la we'll, we'll get to it. Um, <laughs> well, who's in the suit then? Yeah. Uh, we had a stunt sound. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm too big for the seats, uh, so I could only be in there for like a little while, like especially stuff that we couldn't, like this kind of driving. Like what do you I mean for a little while, like uh, because I'm like sitting crooked in it and up on it, so like the seat is just like in my crack, and my knees were pressed against the firewall, and like it, like after we, <laughs> after we were done, dude, both my knees were burnt. But I'm in it for this part. Yeah, we have just a little. Uh, <laughs> interaction here. Do you really eat a cookie at every single house? Oh yeah, a cookie and milk. <laughs> I'm doing the math on yeah. all the caloric yeah, he's like That's over 350 billion calories. Yeah, but my bones are practically unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> so you just over there smiling. Oh, that's great. Yeah. When we slid in there and that yeah. thing was on fire, I was oh, like, yeah. oh shit, don't let it touch the truck. Yeah. This fuel is yeah. $26 a gallon. <laughs> you know, it's very flammable. Yeah. Wow, you really lit that tree up. It's so festive. You actually have a new recoil coming out and yes. it'll probably be close to the time that this video is dropping. Uh -huh. So you want to tell everyone, you know, just about it a little bit, what you like, what you're excited about, some of the things that maybe went a little hairy. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it. It's been a, f a few years since we've been able to put another one together, but it's gonna be Recoil 5. And it's different than, it's like a different vibe than uh, all the other ones that, that I've done before. You know, there's uh, some acting, you know, back and forth, a little bit injected into that, as well as the stunts. Are you acting in this? No, no, I'm not in this, I'm not in this one, yeah. <laughs> My subject matter expertise is like sliding into, you know, parallel parking spots at 65 miles an hour. So I did the best I could with like the yeah. acting and stuff like that, but there's some, there's some cool stunts in it. Uh, they made me jump over a train. That was terrifying. Oh, wow. I was there for that. That was yeah. really cool. Yeah. Epic. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> and I overshot the, like, stunt, stunt coordinators were like, Dude. <laughs> they were that like, you gotta was, go The landing X ramp now. was not needed at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't I didn't even touch it. Like, <laughs> and, like by like, what, like 10 car lengths? <laughs> yeah, I way overshot it and flat landed. It was great, though. Luckily, the, the, the way the truck was set up for that particular event, it had a, uh, the suspension was really capable of doing uh, low speed dampening, which is like the big holes or big G outs or landing off of jumps. It needs to do two things. It needs to be able to, to drive over a curb at 150 miles an hour and not feel it or, you know, something that's really square. But it also, you have to have wheel movement, rapid wheel, wheel movement for that. But it also has to be able to land off of big stuff and, and absorb the shock of that. All right. Well, if any of you guys want to check that out, we'll put some links in the description below. And if we have some BTS or anything like that leading up to it, I'm sure that'll be in there as well. Tell everyone where they can find you. Uh, I'm on Instagram, uh, Ballistic BJ. Actually, no, that's Facebook. Ballistic BJ Baldwin. Instagram is uh, BJ Baldwin and Twitter is BJ Baldwin 97. Easy day. Caleb, what about yourself? What uh, you got going on? Where can people find you? Uh, yeah, man, just a little bit of everything. I'm Caleb Francis, Caleb W. Francis on pretty much everything. Uh, Twitch is Grizzly Puncher. That's just been my video game name since I was little. So I Grizzly Puncher? Yeah, kept it. Now, I remember being like 13, and, and we were just like coming up with our names for Xbox Live, and I was like, we were like, yeah, let's come up with something like cool and badass. And I was like, Grizzly Puncher, man. I was like, that's me. Was <laughs> that's punch, believable. Punch and Grizzly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. picture you so, we really, Hell yeah. 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 yeah, but that's it. Grizzly Puncher. Yep. Check like it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, sweet. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Awesome. Thanks yeah. for having yeah, yeah, Anyone that you want to see in a future episode, let us know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, until next yeah. time. Appreciate it, guys. Uh -huh. I've never seen this film. Oh, oh you got to go watch it now. <laughs> it if you're a fan of Jessica at all, you got to go. <laughs>
You gotta go watch this movie. I showed yeah. it to my daughter and yeah. she's like, Good job, not like <laughs> allowing Santa to fuck everything up. <laughs> yeah, you prefer there's ballistic shirts with, yeah, there's shirts with that. Baldwin? You know what, that was like a hero like stage name I made up with like a lot of years ago. I thought, because somebody else had like a name like that, his name was Flying Hawaiian. I thought it was silly, but then it kind of like stuck. Yeah. So now in, in Mexico and Baja, everybody calls me ballistic, but stateside is. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Just BJ. Yeah. All right.